Welcome to 10 Minute IELTS. Today, we'll be learning about grammar, specifically articles a, an, and the. Now remember, there's, these are the only three articles in the English language and they are used to indicate one piece of the noun. So in short, we only use this when we are referring to one item or one number of the object being identified. For example, if we were to say, I would like a glass of water. How many glasses of water does the person want? Since a ah was used, what she means to say is one glass of water only. It's the same here if I say I want an extra cup of rice. This indicates that we only want one extra cup, not two, not three, not four. But when is it inappropriate to use articles a, an, and the? Let's say that we don't want to use glass here in this sentence and just say water. Can we say, I would like a water? It sounds weird. How about here? If I take out the cup and just say, I want one extra rice or I want an extra rice, again, it sounds strange to the ear. That's because water and rice are what we call non-countable nouns. Means they cannot be counted by your fingers. I mean, think about it. Can you say one water, two water, three water, or even four water? It sounds strange. I don't think that it's even appropriate to say waters. So we should avoid definitely using an article for this noun since it doesn't sound natural. A water is just wrong. But how come a while ago, it sounded correct to use a? That's because we made use of a countable noun. And countable nouns are can be counted, nouns that can be counted by your fingers. An example of this would be glass. We could have one glass, two glasses, or three glasses, and it sounds perfectly natural. Since we can count one, two, or three glasses, then we could say a glass, which would be correct. How come here, I would like a water doesn't sound correct, but whenever I enter, I would like a glass of water, it sounds better already. That's because we're now referring to glass being the main noun, and water just identifying the type of glass you like. So I would like a glass full of water or one glass full of water. The same rule applies here. Rice. Can you count rice with your fingers? I think it would be very difficult to count by hand and so it is considered a non-countable noun. That's why we can't say I want an extra rice. But what we can count is cup, or maybe two cups, three cups, four cups, etc. That's why it's okay to say, I want an extra cup of rice. Because we can count the number of cups, but we can't count the number of rice. And since you say an, it means you only want one cup of extra rice. Next what if you need more than just one such as could i borrow a pencils doesn't it sound a bit painful to the ear that's because when you say a ah, we only need one but the pencil has the suffix s which means we want several or more than one of them that's why it sounds strange to say i could i borrow one pencils or could i borrow a ah, pencils it sounds better to say, could I borrow pencils? Or could I borrow some pencils? Maybe two, three, or even four pencils, but never one pencils. I hope that's clear so you now understand when to use the article. But the, now the question is when to use a and when to use an. To be honest, it's just a matter of whichever sounds natural. They say they use the an after, before a vowel sound, 
but don't complicate it so much. Just repeat the phrase several times out loud and you'll be able to identify the correct article already. Should we say, I want a apple? Or should we say, I want an apple? Let's say, a apple five times. A apple, a apple, a apple, a apple, a apple? Sounds horrible. Let's say an apple five times. An apple, an apple, an apple, an apple, an apple. It seems this second version sounds easier to pronounce and therefore it's more accurate to say I would like an apple. The same applies when we shouldn't use an. For example, should we say a car? or an car. Let's repeat a car five times. A car, a car, a car, a car, a car, a car. That was easy. But now let's say the second version five times. An car, an car, an car, an car, an car? Not only is it painful to the ear, but also it sounds needlessly difficult and unnatural. Therefore, it's better to say, I want to buy a car instead of an car. So I hope this solves the dilemma between a and an easily for you. There are some words you'll have to pronounce out loud though, such as honest. This is because the H is silent, and so you may be confused with the rule used before a vowel sound, since you will be focusing on just the letter H, which is not a vowel. But read it out loud again, five times. A uh, honest, a uh, honest, a uh, honest, a uh, honest, a uh, honest? As opposed to the second version, five times, let's say it out loud. An honest, an honest, an honest, an honest. Therefore, it sounds more natural and accurate to say, I am an honest man as opposed to I am a honest man because the H is silent and the real sound is O. Also, it's just easier when you, when you read it out loud several times. I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the last article, the. This is a special article which could also be that, used as that. Points specifically to just one uh, to just one particular kind or one particular. Let's see how we can use this in an example. Please pass a salt shaker, or is it better to say please pass the salt shaker? The truth is both are grammatically correct, but if you want to say that specific salt shaker at the end of the table, meaning just the particular salt shaker you're pointing to is pointing to something, then it's more appropriate to say, please pass the salt shaker or that salt shaker, the one I am pointing to. As opposed to, please pass a salt shaker means any salt shaker in the world would do. Let's look at the next example. She went to a bathroom or the bathroom. Now again, both are grammatically correct, but if we say she went to a bathroom, it means she went to one of the many bathrooms that are probably in the area. As opposed to saying she went to the bathroom, then she went to the bathroom that I am pointing to right now. Which is why I think you could also say she went to that ba bathroom, the one that I'm pointing to, or the bathroom, if we understand which bathroom we are talking about. This is especially important for guys who are courting someone that they have a crush or like because my tip is never say you are a love of my life. <laughs> because if you say you are a love of my life, then it just means that she is just one of the many loves in the world. It should be you are the love of my life, the only particular one, the one I am referring and pointing to. So those are my 10 minutes. I hope this has made it clearer on how to use articles. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tips 
on IELTS and English. And you also please click on the description below for online coaching. I provide essay checking as well as speaking and many other types of coaching online. Thank you for your time and good luck with your review.